organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. Coming up tonight on Daily Iowan TV, Hawkeye ticket sales are scoring some major points and it's not even halftime. And the technology of coding is approaching all ages. All that and more coming up, Daily Iowan TV starts now. Good evening and thanks for tuning in. I'm Hannah Zigo. Construction in Iowa City seems to be causing more problems than it is solving. Wednesday morning, construction on Dubuque Street had traffic standing still for longer than drivers anticipated. Dubuque Street is down to one lane as construction goes on for the Gateway Project. This two-year project is designed to raise Dubuque Street and Park Ridge Road Bridge. But this const construction zone isn't the only area causing problems for Iowa City. Construction in downtown Iowa City is making it difficult for residents to navigate the area. Downtown businesses are still open but are feeling a slight drop in profits due to the construction. The construction in downtown Iowa City is set to wrap up in the fall. Today, the University of Iowa hosted a summit on drowsy driving. The Fatality Analysis Reporting System says between the years of 2010 and 2012, there were 317 fatalities due to drivers falling asleep behind the wheel. The Iowa DOT has been placing slogans relevant to the topic, such as, your airbag is not your pillow, to remind drivers to be well rested before getting behind the wheel. Two cars collided near Mercy Hospital early Tuesday. The crash was between Market and Johnson Street. The car crashed into a column near the entrance of the hospital's cafe. First responders came to aid those involved in the crash, and the crash is currently under investigation. A North Liberty man was arrested Monday night for the attempted murder of one family. Justin DeWitt hired a man to kill a family of four in the area. DeWitt signed a contract with an undercover agent in Iowa City, agreeing to pay $8,000 once the family was killed. North Liberty Police chose a non-local officer to carry the arrest to, avo to avoid the risk of a North Liberty officer being recognized. DeWitt's bond was held early Tuesday afternoon and his bond was set at $600,000. And now for a look at your weather. Thursday will be a high of 79 degrees and a low of 58. We are going to see some rain in the early morning and late afternoon. Friday will be clear all day with some clouds with a high of 78 and a low of 56. Great start to the 4th of July weekend. Kids are getting to learn th how their favorite games work. On Wednesday morning, the Iowa City Library hosted the We Can Code event. Preteens learned basic computer skills and how to code. Coding is creating the design and functions of a video game. We're helping these students be like not just consumers of electric, electronic and software sort of things. They're also learning how to like make on their own and realize that these are things that they can have control over themselves. This is the first year that the We Can Code event was held and it takes place every Wednesday until July 20th. As the Hawkeye football team is wrapping up, is warming up, excuse me, for the fall season, fans are already purchasing their seats. Kinnick Stadium is already two thirds of the way full and game day tickets haven't even been on sale yet. 44,000 tickets have been sold, which is a 98% renewal rate from the 36,200 public, faculty and student tickets sold last year. That's all we have for you tonight on Daily Iowan TV. Be sure to check out our website, dailyiowan.com, for all the latest news. I'm Hannah Zigo, and have a great night.